And Rob, I'll pick up the coverage here in Valdosta, where we are now getting a look at some of the damage for the last hour and a half after our 1230 hit here on Fox 5. We went inside because the eye wall was just too severe. We are now coming out to take a look at the damage. We have this handy dandy light thanks to a very nice person here in Valdosta. I want to point over here. You can take a look. The siding of that building is now gone, ripped apart as the hurricane force strength winds ripped the metal siding off during the height of this storm as that eye wall was pulling through here. I'm going to move the light down just a little. You'll just see all the tree limbs just scattered across uh, the road here, littering all across the sidewalk as well. And as we pan to the left, we're going to pan across. You'll see this sign, this for sale sign. This was in a, I guess, a vacant lot that they're trying to sell. It is no longer in that lot. The wind actually sending it probably about uh, 20 yards from where it should have been or where it was about maybe three or four hours ago. And then this is an awning just above that. That was ripped off a building during the height of the storm as the eye wall was moving through this area. And as we continue moving to the left, you'll see this tree over here uh, came crashing down or at least a limb ripped apart during the severe winds. And as you can tell, I'm having to use a flashlight because it is so dark out here uh, because the power is out. 63,000 people are in the dark, according to Lowndes County EMA. They say that they are still seeing tropical storm force winds all throughout this area. I think they just got a report of a gust of like 72 miles per hour within the last 15 minutes or so. We are still seeing wind out here as well. I'm just panning around this light. Um, not a whole lot of um, structural damage, thankfully, from what we're seeing in this location, but there's obviously a lot of wind damage to these trees. Uh, a lot of cars that were parked here appear to be okay, uh, which is obviously some good news. Uh, we do see a lot of police officers out and about. Uh, we see one driving through right now. They have their lights on, a lot of emergency officials out here. Um, while most of the severe part of this storm has passed. We are still seeing some wind gusts, a very light rain, which is obviously uh, some good news that things are moving along and you'll see a gust coming right there, uh, but nothing like what we were seeing earlier at the height of this at about 1230 when it was just incredibly dangerous for us to be outside. Actually, this sign right here is the reason why we went inside because it started moving from it. Was, so right what you're looking at right there, it was probably right about where my light is. And all of a sudden during that uh, hurricane force wind gust it just flew across the ground over to here and that was the point where we said we were no longer safe where we were because that is our ultimate goal to tell you what's happening in a location um, we were no longer safe we went inside we met some very nice people who live here in Valdosta who are riding out the storm right here who let us in and we appreciate them as we're trying to tell you what's happening and it looks like police are coming down if we pan over uh, emergency responders driving down this street uh, so roads are passable but there is definitely a lot of power lines down throughout the Valdosta area and throughout South Georgia. According to the Lowndes County EMA, again, 63,000 people in the dark this uh, this morning. Uh, and it's going to be, unfortunately, a site that many people are going to have to uh, deal with uh, as we are going to finally get a full scope of the damage once uh, daybreak happens in just a few hours. Uh, but from what we're seeing here, it's definitely widespread. Um, and hopefully everyone is able to ride out the storm who was here because of just the a significant amount of wind that we saw. I mean, that hurricane force wind was nothing to play around with, incredibly dangerous. Uh, and that's why they really have been telling people to stay off the streets, go to a shelter if you're in a mobile home. Uh, and um, that's something that we've been monitoring throughout the evening and now into the morning hours here as the storm system uh, continues to um, bring wind and rain to this area.